You can just hear once he hits the spot of where he didn't get. That's so gross. Like, that's so cool for the top half, but so gross for the bottom half. Hey YouTube, so we're in the midst of cleaning, packing, what have you. Um, we found a trick that if you all are in the middle of trying to clean exterior windows or shower doors or anything and they have those really nasty hard water spots on them, um, we found a great tool on Amazon actually that's been getting them off our windows for us. We tried multiple different things. We've Windexed them, we've tried uh, vinegar water, we've tried CLR, we bought some stuff that went on the end of a hose to try and clean your outside windows that just cleaned off the dirt and left wa the water spots. So now we found a product to get rid of the water spots. So Matt's going to show you what we've got and we'll link all the stuff down in the description below for you. But check it out, it actually works and is working pretty quickly with how we've kind of modified everything. Okay, so first we're going to clean off the windows with the Windex. Get all the dirt off. Ew, even that just looks gross. Yeah. Yeah, so Matt had bought some plastic gloves. We bought all this stuff months ago. So we bought plastic gloves and it came with a little, like what, two by two scrub brush. Yeah, like a scotch pad. Yeah, a little white scotch pad. Um, we've kind of found that that helped okay enough, but it was a lot of elbow grease and it took a lot of time and it still left some of the water spots. So we kind of, we bought some more products <laughs> as Matt breaks the blinds. But we bought some, well, scrub pads that go onto the drill that Matt's been using to work this thing in easier instead of just using all elbow grease. And they're buffing pads. Buffing pads. Sorry, I spoke, misspoke. But we'll link them in the description. Okay, so after he's actually cleaned it, it's really hard to see on the camera. I mean, you can kind of see some of the water spots in there. It just feels rough. But yeah, I mean, it's really bad, but it's really hard to capture it on the camera. Alright, so first step after we've Windexed off all the dirt is we just kind of Spray it down with a little bit of water to get it wet. And then we put the product on, which is called ProClean made by Glasswell, uh, or Glass Weld, professional grade glass restorer. So how much are you putting on? Mm -hmm. How much have you been putting on? You've done four of them. Okay. Guesstimate. That's probably more than it needs. <laughs> Callie, move. Go, Kelly. Dog, move. So then he's just gonna buff it all on until that's kind of become this dry dust, basically. So you can see how it's pretty much all dried up. So that stuff's done. And then he just takes a... Takes a cloth and is wiping off the excess of the product. Don't mind our dog in the no being annoying in the background. How does it feel as you're cleaning it? Smooth. Nice and smooth, not any more rough spots. Just like Rob Thomas. <laughs> Wiping off all the excess product, 
Then he just Windexes it to make sure it's clean again. And you could stop here and just clean it and this would be good. But we've kind of gone an extra step from here. And we're trying to prevent us from having to do this much more. So after Windexing it, we've just been using some Rain-X on them. He had this buffer hooked up to the drill, but... Hold on. Man, I know it's hard to tell the water spots on the camera, people, but even just looking at it like this looks way cleaner. So smooth. Okay, so again, it's really hard to see this on camera, but I mean, you can just see the color, the difference in the shadows off of this one versus how clear that one looks. Over. Just feel it. It just glides over now. But yeah, we so we took the extra step to do rain X so that it'll help keep water spots from accumulating again so that you might have to do this every so often but it shouldn't be nasty the first time it rains or the sprinkler hits it or something okay so it's still getting really bad gleam from the window but let I me mean, look at all the water spots on this one and i've tried scrubbing this with every product possible no now i can't see them against the white well, i just want to make sure yeah. that all these water spots. We bought the rain axe. I mean, it's a shower, so it's not like it's dirt caked on there. That's all water, hard water spots. We bought the rain axe for the shower, and there was something we saw to use a magic eraser, and that kind of. Eh, it was okay, it. but it used so much elbow grease, and it didn't really do enough. So same process, and then we'll show you the afterwards. So Matt just did the top half of the shower door. Do what you just told me to listen to. You can just hear once he hits the spot where he didn't get. That's so gross. Like, that's so cool for the top half, but so gross for the bottom half. All right. Look at how smooth. So that water spot is actually over here. Look at that. You can still see all the water spots there. You can see straight through this one to see the water spots on the other one. It's so smooth and shiny. And then there's this one. That's not. Good job. All right. So, I think it works pretty well. Matt agrees and thinks it works pretty well. Um, if you guys want to try this stuff at home, we'll put links in the description below for the glass cleaner and the buffing pads. Um, and then we just used a spray bottle of water, some Windex, and a bottle of Rain-X for the other products. We can link everything in below for you. But yeah, give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful. Leave us a comment below and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Thanks guys, bye.